Good morning, modern setters. It's a nice foggy morning, about 43 degrees out right now. What are you doing, Figaro? What are you doing? I found my winter cap I was wearing last year. What do you think of it? Nice wool winter cap, pulled down the sides. Oh, girls. You got it so rough, don't you? Come on, and Buttercup. You ready for your feed? It ended up raining yesterday, but it held off for a little while, so we were able to get some work done. It's supposed to rain again today. I was supposed to have a couple of hours to get some work done, so that's a good thing. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day long. Kind of feels like we're living in a rainforest. I was hoping the big four-acre pasture that we're building was going to dry out a little bit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to the video of us logging the four acre pasture. But we got a brook on the bottom side of it, and when they were bulldozing, when they cleared the land, they left an opening to get through the brook to the other side to our woods. Well, when they came back and bulldozed, they made a stone wall all the way across the brook. I was hoping to get down there, <coughs> before the excavator goes back and open up a pathway. But with all the rain we've been getting, it's a muddy mess down there. And if I bring the excavator down there, we might get stuck. But more than that, I'll just make a huge mess. So maybe it'll dry out between now and when the excavator's gotta go home. <laughs> Morning guys. I think this right here is one of Pluto's favorite parts of the day. She loves when we go out to New York City. She knows she gets to go run around in the pasture. Andy. You ready? Go for it. Where are you going? Wrong way. This way. Over the wall. Ready to come out loose. Rain swelled up that board. Morning, girl. Oh, she wanted out. I just moved New York City to this spot yesterday. If you want to see how I moved New York City, I'll put a link to that video right here. But what I was just seeing, they've only been out here for one day and they have cleaned up a few spots pretty good. It's interesting to see how well they scratch some areas. <laughs> Come on. Are you guys going to fly back into New York City, huh? That's where you should be. What are you doing, Andy? Huh? Now the real fun begins. We get to play in the excavator again.
stumps we have around here and get the rock wall picked up a little bit better. Okay, he got knocked out pretty good. Just look at that. Now we gotta find a place for it. Stay. Awesome.
I worked my way over here to the apple orchard so we can have the excavator closer to the burn pile when we stop burning. And I want to see if I can get out uh, a few more stumps. Ah, uh, the chickens found the fresh dirt. I'm having so much fun, I almost forgot I got an appointment I gotta get to. Hope I'm not too late, but look how it came out. We're getting there and we're gonna start over there and we gotta burn some of that pile up. So we have more room to work and more want to put all the brush and the roots so we can get a fire going. Okay, go out. No, you can go outside. She's like, but I want to. Just let me out. Just let me out. Hey, I told you that you couldn't go outside. She says, I gotta go potty. It's go. It is raining out. Well, it's dirty, but it doesn't stay. Go, Pluto. Go ahead. It's gonna go. Where are you going? No. The chickens are like, uh, uh, dude, you got me some food? Wait, we put the party like over there. Well, we gotta go over there to collect the eggs, anyways. Did you get it? Watch out! <sighs> Any skunks? I don't know. Ah! You gotta open that side. I can't. There's a skunk you gotta get sprayed too. I can't. It's ah, skunk! Well, I don't want to be the only one who gets sprayed by a skunk if we have skunks again. Well, they're gonna be. You're gonna get it too. No, I'm not. I wanna share with you. No. The experience. Sharing is caring, right? No. Isn't that what they always say? No. I think it's caring. I don't think so. I don't wanna be the I don't wanna be the only one who smells stinky if we get sprayed. It's gonna be a team effort. No, it's not. Yes. No. If I'm gonna smell, you're gonna to smell too. Put it in the center. What? It was in the center loop, yeah. Oh, moose. Okay, which bucket do you want? Eggs or the bucket? This one. Okay. She's saying, it's raining out. Where's my hay? Oh my goodness. Pluto, get over here. You're coming out in the rain? I don't believe it. <laughs> you getting wet there, Blossom? Andy, don't start that stuff. You won't last long. What? Willow. We had this discussion yesterday, didn't we? It's not milking time. Willow. It's not milking time. Willow! I'm surprised you girls are coming out with all the rain. I know. Well, it's not that rainy anymore, but it's still You're raining. my shirt there, Buttercup. <laughs> uh, a dead 
there we go. You guys want some grain? Huh? Hey, right there. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. Say thank you. Mm -hmm. Gina and Olivia were cooking fools the other day, so I haven't had to cook any meals from scratch this week. We got some leftover beef stew right here. We found an awesome source to get grass-fed beef from that we've been trying out. Oh, we've been really enjoying using these. I think they're half gallon mason jars to store our soups and stews in. when they're in the refrigerator. Do you want a lot of it or a little bit? You want to start up a little? We'll get it cooling off a little bit because I'm sure it's pretty gosh darn hot. We just wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of our heart for coming along with us on our journey as we build our farm here in northern New Hampshire. We just hope that we can encourage you guys to build your own farm, get one step closer to the dreams that you want to be living. And it means the world to us that you guys are always here watching the channel and commenting. If you guys aren't already subscribed, now's a great time to go ahead and do that. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.